So we're a big group today, uh, about 70 people, maybe a little bit more. Looks like uh, we're less crowded than we thought, so next time we'll ask for 100 people. <laughs> um, today we have a big day. Um, I'm going to talk a lot at the beginning. Um, because for me, uh, to be able to understand with your mind is very important. It enables the mind to shut off and say, okay, that's, I understand now. So I will talk about a lot of stuff. I will talk about spiritual stuff, but also scientific stuff, and I will put them together because that's where they go. So I will explain many pieces of the puzzle and I will put the puzzle together and you will see that it makes so much sense. So it's possible that at the beginning it does not make sense to you. It's normal. So please just go with the flow and try not to stay stuck in one place. Uh, and you will see when we put everything together that it will make a lot more sense. My guides are telling me to start with explaining what happened to me so that you understand. Uh, I usually never start with that, but it's okay. Everything is perfect. So who are the guides? Um, they are uh, beings of light that have no physical body. And so they have been teaching me for the past six years. So at the beginning, I had no clue who was teaching me. And it was a bit scary for me because I was running my own business in IT, into computers. And I was so not looking for that. I had no clue it was existing. I was not reading books, and so I had no clue it was written in books. Uh, I did not know there were courses about that. And so all that was very new to me. I've always been very scientific, and I needed big proofs, and I received big proofs, and even though I had these big proofs, it was hard for me to believe. <laughs> so I am not expecting you to believe what I say. And the exercise that we will do together today is not about believing or not. It is about having the experience. So that's why I'm going to talk a little bit at the beginning, and then we will have the experience so that you don't have to believe it or not after, eh? because you will know. So you see the difference? So, it started when uh, a lot of things in my life started to shake a lot. It's like, uh, it's like if life was shaking me like this so that I wake up and I do my job. So many things happened at the same time. And so I will just explain a little bit of what happened because that's not what's important. What's important is to understand what's behind all of that. So while everything was shaking, my mom broke her ankle at three places. She had two metal blades and nine bolts to hold all of her ankle together. It's been a month and a half since surgery, and I go visit her, and she tells me right when I get in, my doctor say that if I put a little bit of weight on my foot every day, that one day I will be able to put all my weight. I say it's very, log it's very logical. And she starts to cry. And she says, 
I cannot even put my foot on the ground. Eric, can you do something? <laughs> I'm like, Ma, I'm not a doctor. I'm uh, into computers. <laughs> and so for me, it was not making sense. And she continued to look at me in the eye without saying a word. But I understood what she meant. My mom and I, we do a lot of telepathy. And so she was thinking of what I was being told when I was a kid. Sometimes I would go into public places, and these women, I don't know, they would come to, to us and say, Hey, you, you have gifts? One day you'll do great things. And so I was looking at my mom like, They're crazy. I had no clue what they were talking about. And especially I had no clue how to find about these gifts. And so I forgot about that. But then when my mom asked me that, something came up that was really powerful. And it was like, what do you lose from trying? Ah, it does not cost anything. And so, I decided to try it with my mom. I put my hands like this around the ankle of my mom without touching her. And for the first time, I felt fire coming out of my hands. And my mom was saying, I feel like it's pulling up my leg. My mom started to walk pretty quickly on her foot. It was not hurting anymore, which was weird. But at the same time, my ego was like, it's been a month and a half since surgery. She could have healed any day now. And so for the next month, I had this doubt in my mind. And every time I would meet someone who would uh, tell me about their physical pain, even before saying I to me, I would, I would think that it's the universe sending me a test. And so I would try it and see what happens. But when the people would heal the next day, they would not call me back to let me know because they were freaked out. They were so not believing it, so they, it could not be that. Like me, with my mom. So for seven months, I did lots of tests without knowing what, what happened. And one day, I received confirmations of all the things that happened the past seven months. And so I call my mom and I say, Ma, you won't believe everything that's happening to me. And I started to, to say on the phone every experience that I had every confirmations. And for an hour on the phone, only me was talking. My mom did not say a word. And so I was not expecting my mom to say or add anything. And so when I was done, my mom said, I believe you. I'm not surprised at all. I'm coming back from the hospital. We did x-rays. The doctors are so amazed. We don't see where it broke anymore. So it was another confirmation on top of all the other ones I had the same day, which was so not normal because I had no confirmation before, and then poof, all at the same time. So at the beginning, it was hard for me to understand what was happening. I did not know all these puzzles were going together. I received uh, teachings telepathically. Uh, I was doing my dishes, and suddenly, ding! It's like a light bulb that get, comes up in your mind. And it's like if someone downloaded me a book in my head, and I understood everything uh, in one shot, which was pretty intense. <laughs> At the beginning, I was like, that is something I did not know before. In a fraction of a second, I know all this, 
it must be coming from somewhere else than me. <laughs> but I had no clue who was teaching me. Because these beings, they have no ego. And so they are not like, aha, I'm going to teach you now. No. <laughs> no, they have no ego. And for them, it's not the messenger that is important. It is the message. Enough talk about me now. Do you believe that you are the physical body? Ah, a, lot of peop a lot of people can think that. It's pretty easy to believe that. But if I ask, do you believe that you have a soul? Oh, that's pretty easy to answer, huh? <laughs> if you believe that you are the soul, are you the soul or the physical body? We have a pretty big proof of that. We have it right in our face, and it's just that we haven't looked at it. For sure, we are not the physical body, because when the physical body dies, we leave it here. If we would be the physical body, or if it would belong to us, we would keep it. The physical body is tangible. It means that you can touch it. Is the soul tangible? No, it's intangible. So if it is intangible, could it be energy? Yes. Yes, yes because energy has the property that you cannot touch it. So if we are the soul, it means that we come from another world, not this world. And the world we are coming from is an energetic world. Make sense? So it means that where we come from, we are energy within energy. Can we separate energy? No, we cannot separate energy. So it is obvious to us that we are one with God where we come from. If I go too fast, you let me know. Okay? It also means that we <coughs> as one being from where we come from. We created this world, the physical world, for our learning. We created the physical world from the energetic world where we come from with energy. So what does that mean? It means that the physical world is energy. Can it be something else than energy? No, it's been made with energy. And when you make a furniture that is in wood, can it be metal when you're uh, finished with it? No. no, it will be wood. And we are starting to discover that with science, uh, quantum physics. They are discovering that matter, as we know it, is far from being solid as we believe it. It is energy. 